Well, everybody, I ended up staying at this rest area um, all night. It is now 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to go ahead and head into Pensacola and go to the Walmart. Um, I was just unsure if they had overnight parking. That's why I ended up staying here, because I know I can park here. Why leave a thing that's for sure. All right, well, I'm letting Panda warm up, so I'll see you up the road. Well, they have a plane right there, U.S. Navy. <laughs> I'm getting back on the road. This is also right by the airport. I forgot to tell you that. I guess they're expanding the road here. Looks like they're doing a little road work. After 100 meters, turn left onto Highway 90, Scenic Highway, then turn left. This is Highway 90, the scenic route. I can see the um, waterway right there.
vacant lot. A lot of hills in this area. Alright, I'm here in Pensacola. I'm just going to stop for a minute and check and make sure everything's okay. Because I've already been stopped enough today. I had to um, put the gas station I want to go to that's pretty inexpensive. It's like 214 in the GPS that way because my phone always loses signal. Ugh. So I'm not even using that. Um, but yeah, it's like about 30 minutes up the road. But, yep, I'm in Alabama. After I get gas, the next destination is Mobile. I'll see y'all up the road. Big fireworks shop. <laughs> they must sell a lot of fireworks. Well, um, 11 miles away from Loxley where I'll be getting gas and 26 miles away from Mobile, Alabama. We have the um, Gulf State Park at exit 49 which is coming up. This is off of US 10. Also at the um, exit 49 is Baldwin Beach Express. Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. Alright, here's my exit. Ugh. I hate these kind of exits. They loop around. Yes, Beverly, I got it. There's a Love's truck stop right there. Like, you know what? I'm just going to get gas there because it's um, actually 214 there. So what's the point of going all the way down there? All right, cool. All right, I'm getting back on the road. I just stopped at Love's and got gas filled up and now two fourteen a gallon. That was a lot cheaper. That thank God I paid so cheap considering the last time was 
249 a gallon. Ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm headed to Mobile, the Walmart there. Alright, um, I'm passing exit 38, Spanish Ford and Daphne. Has um, some shopping center there and gas and all that stuff. Oh, there's also a Lowe's and a Sam's Club. So there's probably a good exit to um, Boondock. I'm sure you can find something here. Such a beautiful, pretty day today. Side. Walmart's on the other side. I remember this Walmart. Um, this is not, but I'm going to the Lowe's, which is over here. This is actually the road. If you follow this road down on the left hand side, yes, Beverly. If you um, follow this all the way down there on the left hand side, um, probably about a mile down this road is where I got my valve fixed the last time I was here. Um, yeah, I'll probably go across the street because this one seems a bit on the busy side. Doesn't seem like much parking. So yeah, let me go across the street to Walmart. Thanks, ma'am. I'm already here, so I don't need your help anymore. Yep, just follow this road straight down, and then on the right-hand side, there was an oil change place that actually did RVs, as long as they weren't too big. Mine's only 22 foot, so... Well, I do remember this one. I didn't park here, um, or I didn't camp here overnight. There's security here. I'm not sure if they allow overnighting, but um, I did park here, and I um, stayed here for a couple hours, and then I moved on. But yeah, I do remember. That's neat. I remember this one. <laughs> it's neat to come back to the places that you've been, so, and if you remember anything. Well, I came back over here to Lowe's. Their parking spaces are on the short side, so I was sticking out just a little bit. It was barely big enough, so um, right across the street, right across the street is another parking um, lot. Um, I think it's for a sex piece of chicken or something here. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyways, um, so I decided to park here because I have to download some stuff, and I'm going to see if I can hook it to Lowe's and use their internet for a little bit. Right. I thought I found you in the woods. Well, actually this spot would actually make a really good place to boondock. Right here, right where I am, across from Lowe's in Mobile, Alabama. Um, it's almost nine o'clock and it's pretty quiet here and this um, side parking lot's pretty dead. So yeah, make a great spot to boondock. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay here or not, um, but I am going back over to Walmart to grab something to eat, and then I'll decide. 
Actually, I was speaking about this um, Walmart, and I wasn't sure if there was RV parking um, because there's security, and yes, there's security right there where I was parked. Actually, there was no security. <laughs> but um, I see two RVs over there, so I take it that they are, or I would say they're RV friendly. He hasn't seemed to t tell them to go, but it's almost nine so might still be too early i'm not sure you'll see i'm gonna go grab something to eat